Hey guys, today I am back at Savers. It is Sunday, but surprisingly the parking lot is not that full. So normally the parking lot is packed on any weekend day here at Savers. So we might have a really great shopping trip. Um, as you can tell from my voice, I am getting over being sick. So hopefully my raspy voice doesn't drive you guys too crazy. If it does, then this might not be the video for you, I'm sorry. Um, but let's go inside and see what we can find. Let's go. I have my bags with me that say I'd rather be thrifting. And I actually will take the bottom of my stroller into the store as my cart because they don't allow you to take the carts outside. So I use this as my cart. I fill it up and then when I go to leave the store, I can take my shopping cart out to my car. So it works out really well if you have a stroller. Today's color is purple. So I'm starting off in the artwork. And the first thing I see is this cute little needle point from ghoulies and ghosties and long-legged beasties and other things that go bump in the night. Good Lord, deliver us. That's a really funny nursery piece of artwork. <laughs> kind of interesting. Um, it is $5. Hmm. I don't know, that's kind of cute. I think I'm gonna put that in my basket as a consideration. Let's see what else we see. I also saw this goldfish art that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't see any artist's signature. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. What else do we have? Santa Claus. Mostly looks like mass produced pieces. Okay, here we go down the figurines. What is this guy? That is hilarious. It's made up of like thread. $249. Wonder what that is. Hmm. I might have to Google lens him. I also noticed this just piece of art glass but it does have a chip on the end. What do you guys think this is? Okay, well I can't find anything on him, but I am not digging his vibe. It looks kind of mean, so I'm gonna move on and keep looking. I did notice this dish here. The little swirls inside. Oh, it's Avon. I think I will pass, and it's Avon. I have heard that Avon is not very desirable. This looks like a... I thought it was made in China, but now I actually see a sticker here. It looks like Russ. Huh. Her eyes look a little off. Do we see anything else? This was here last time I was here, and I considered getting it just because I really love the red cardinal. It is a um, decanter, but it is $12 and it does have some damage on it, so decided to pass on it. Let's see, we have a lot of different small figurines here. This is pretty. Let's see if I see any chips. That? Oh yeah, there's a big section missing there. Okay, what in the world is this? What is this? It's It looks like a turtle shell. It's like an art class turtle shell. But I don't think it opens. I don't think it's like a dish that opens and it's rounded. It looks like it's been glued together and then it has this hole. What would you do with that? Hang it on the wall, I suppose? Hmm, kind of weird. Um, that's a pretty dish back there. Sparkly. Um, some Maidan. Oh, here's some Heather Gold Mink. That's cute. $6.49 for that. I have one of these for um, Christmas. I have another piece of hers listed and it has not sold very quickly. 
And this is actually, it usually has an underplate that looks like it's missing, but it certainly is cute. Oh, this is pretty. A really, really pretty art glass bowl. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna feel all of the edges to see if I feel any damage. I'm not feeling anything, it feels pretty good. And the bottom is polished. $7.49. I do have a 20% off coupon, so I think that that could be a good one. Well, I was hoping that this was a Murano Glass Angel. It does still have the sticker on it that says Made in Taiwan, so leave that one behind. It's kind of an interesting. I thought maybe it was a dish, but I think it's just a decorative ball. It's pretty. I like the colors. Oh, it must be... Uh, it? I like in the bottom. I was thinking it was like a piggy bank, but I don't see the spot on it. It's interesting. What else do we have here? Ooh, she's very fancy. Wow. Very, very fancy. So here are some art glass from Poland. Uh, they have $15.99 on this, which I think is a little high. I've sold something like this before, um, but the colors were much more vivid. This, I don't know, it doesn't really excite me with the brown colors. This is a nice dish. Let's see, just put some cloth on the back. Um, it's kind of weird because it looks like glass, but then it has this like plastic coating on the back. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to leave it. I don't think I see anything else. The Santa kind of intrigued me a bit. I can't tell what that label is. Does he actually? No. I thought maybe he went down in this box, but no. This dragon is actually pretty cute. But I think it's just a hobbyist piece done by a child, but it's still cute. Okay, two things are catching my eye. First, I think that this is Jeanette Glass, and is that a hair receiver? Is that what that is? $2.99? But then also this bottle is really beautiful. Let's see, is this Avon again? Am I getting tricked with Avon? Um, what does that say? Q-U-O-R bottle? Core bottle? I love the colors on it. I think it's slag glass, right? These colors are so beautiful. It is $17.99, so that is not cheap. But those colors are fantastic, so I think I will definitely consider that. Well, I was just thinking that I'd never find Italian pottery at the thrift store, and then I happen upon this beautiful plate. And it says made in Italy. Isn't that pretty? It's a bird. So that one is going to come with me. So this piece caught my mind. It's some kind of like a strainer. It has a bamboo handle. It has a very cool kind of like rustic look. Um, $2.99. So I'm going to grab that. And then I was looking across the aisle and I see some crocs up there I want to check out. I thought maybe they were like a lock reset, but they're not. They're made in China and they're just ceramic. But here's hoping for lock reset, right? Um, let's see. What else do we have? What is this? It's, thin. it's like a Christmas tin. Very, very tarnished. I don't see any markings on that, and it doesn't feel like it's silver. It's a nice bowl. Ah, jars for hands. I have sold one of their teapots, and I actually know that their pottery does quite well. So, I'm going to you though. I didn't see how much that was. Hopefully it's reasonable. This is kind of fun. There's a group of coconut $2.99 each. If you were having a tiki party, that would be a really fun thing to have. 
what is in this box? $5.49. Oh, how cute. That's really cute. There's only two sets of chopsticks, but these little dipping dishes are cute. And I love the box that it comes in and the contrast of the color. That's really cute. I think I may take that. OMG, look at this guy. So cute. His eyes are kind of worn, but he's just adorable. I think this is also slat glass. I-49. I feel like that's kind of a high price for that, but he's just so cute. You know what? Let me let me Google lens him and, and see what he sells for on eBay, eBay before I commit, because 549 may just be too high. Okay, he sells for around 10 to 20. So for $5.49 plus my coupon, I think I'm going to go ahead with it. And then while I was looking him up, I came across this little stangle pitcher. Um, it does have a little bit of damage there on the handle. Sorry, I don't know why it's not focusing. Um, but that's awfully cute. It's got some wear on the spout as well and some discoloration. But for $3.49... I think I can probably get 18 to 20 for that, so I'm going to take that as well. <clears throat> I actually just changed all of my dishes to stangle pottery, to the thistle pattern, which I really love. All right. Here's some coin glass. This is a pretty big compote dish. It's quite heavy. Um, $6.99. <laughs> I don't see any damage on it. So nothing on the top. Bottom looks good. Okay, so something very similar sold for about 20, but this is gonna be heavy. It's gonna require a lot of packaging and it's clear. So I think I'm gonna leave it behind for those reasons. I had to switch the audio because there is some copyrighted music playing. Here I find a beautiful salt glaze blue glass bowl. It's too big for resale, but I love it for myself. So back in the electronics section, I found this baggie with a little bird and fox salt and pepper shaker for $2. These are just made in China, but I still think that they're really cute. And I bet I could get maybe $10 for those. So I think it's worth it for these guys. I've already had people have major card envy over this bowl. This is so cool. I love how someone painted this. I don't know if maybe they added the flowers or it came this way, but this is an old tape CD player. But I just, I love the, uh, the flowers on it. It's so pretty. Well, now I'm in the artwork section, and I find another one of these plates from Italy. This one just has flowers on it. I don't know that I love this one as much, so I may put this back. Um, <clears throat> but I was looking at these things. Look at this. Wow. Oh, like stone different stones. It's amazing. $34.99. I'm sure that those are very valuable. I don't know that I want to deal with that though, but somebody is going to score on these. And they're absolutely gorgeous and they're not missing a bunch of pieces. Um, looks like everything is still really well intact. Okay, so I think it's time to do a cart review before I head out. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to eliminate this. I'll put it back with the artwork. It's kind of, <clears throat> I don't know, it, it makes me feel weird how it's very like nursery-ish, but then the saying is kind of creepy. So I think I will leave that. And as much as I love this set, I discovered it's actually from World Market. <clears throat> and you can buy these brand new for right around 20. So I could probably sell this for maybe 10 with the missing chopsticks. So there's just not that much of a 
profit margin there. So I think I'm gonna leave that behind. And then also sadly, I'm going to leave behind this bottle. So <clears throat> this is, I misread this. This actually says liquor. This is a Jim Bean liquor bottle and it should have a stopper to it. And bottles, this same bottle with the stopper are selling for right around 25. So I don't think it's a good investment to buy it without the stopper for that price. Okay, so my total spend was $43. A big bulk of that was this gigantic bowl that was 15. Um, I did have the coupon, of course. And now I get to just roll right out with my stroller. I don't have to carry everything out in my bags. So it works out really nicely. All right, I will do a haul video as soon as I get home. Okay guys, well I am back home and ready to show you my haul from Savers today. So the bulk of my $43 purchase was this incredible pedestal bowl. Now you can really see the color and the salt glaze on it. So this was $15.99 and then I got this beautiful Murano style glass because I don't know for sure if it's Murano um, art glass bowl with the gold and the pink and it doesn't have any chips or cracks. It's in beautiful condition. Oh, I have an interloper here. Hold on a second. Molly, you can't interrupt my video. That's my cat, Molly. Um, <laughs> then we have this adorable little Imperial Glass Owl Creamer for $5.49. The Stangle Creamer as well. I discovered that this is actually Fenton. So this is a Fenton hair receiver. Um, this I think is actually used for dumplings when you're making dumplings, but I think it's just a beautiful kitchen utensil that could almost hang on the wall as a, an art piece. Then I got the cute little salt and pepper shaker, the bird and the fox, the beautiful plate from Italy, the jars of France bowl. So that was my haul from Savers. My cat is back. And of course she's around some very delicate glass, which I'm about to show you. Um, <clears throat> I think she wants to be fed. Anyways, my savers haul, my total was $43 of that was $15.99 from the bowl. And I did have a 20% off coupon. So that is the good news there. I also wanted to show you guys my Goodwill haul from yesterday, which I did not film. So, um, I spent $37 at the Goodwill. I did round up. And I found some great stuff, so I wanted to show you that really quickly. So first is this cute little Lennox bud vase, which was $1.99. I will say the prices at Goodwill are so much less than Savers. It's amazing. Like, at least 2 to $3 less on everything. Um, then this is a good bolo to be on the lookout for. I found this really pretty um, covered dish. And this is by an artist and LaSalle Ceramics out of um, California. And I think that this will probably go for maybe between 30 to 40. Um, so that's a good one to be on the lookout for. And this little dish was in perfect condition. Then this cute little um, Mary Engelbert uh, trinket dish. So I got that for $1.99. And then these plates, this is another kind of obscure brand that I hadn't heard of before. Um, these are cute little bread plates. And this is by a um, artist called Suzanne Winget. And a set of these sold anywhere between 30 to 40. So I should definitely make my money back on that. Because my cat again, really making me nervous. She's making me nervous because I have these Lennox cordial glasses here. So I found a set of five of these. They were $1.99 each. Then I have this piece of cool restaurant wear that actually has an anchor on it. This is made by Tepco. I think I should be able to get um, anywhere between 30 to 40 for this. And I paid $3.99. <clears throat> then I found this, oh my darn cat. I'm sorry, that's embarrassing. Um, I found this Department 76, right? No, Department 56. My apologies. Department 56 piece. And it is working. And it's in great condition. And I got that for $4.99. And those sell anywhere from, 
I don't know, 50 up to 75 and it's in great condition. So that was my haul from Goodwill. Oh, and then I can't forget this cool woven basket. Um, and this I think was also $1.99, I believe. Let's see. Yep. This was also $1.99. So really good haul from Goodwill as well. I was a little bummed because Goodwill put out a text today about a coupon that they're doing for at MLK holiday, um, where if you spend $30, you get $5 off. So I already spent my $30 at Goodwill this week. I don't imagine that I will be able to go back tomorrow, but nevertheless, a really good haul. Oh, one other thing that I forgot, um, completely kind of on the opposite end of everything else I picked up. I got this very cool school plate that I imagine would be like a trinket dish for someone. So I know there's somebody out there that will absolutely love that. And I think I paid $1.99 for that as well. So that was my savers and good haul, my savers and goodwill haul this week. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching and I hope to see you on the next one. And to the goodwill employee who put the tag on like this so I can see the maker. I thank you. I wish they would all do it this way, but kudos to whoever you are.